Oh, snappity dap. I just planned on using a few. Look who's coming through. Who, who do we have coming through the portal? The second one. Yes, 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 yes. I got pulled up. So this makes my wait a minute. If I'm not mistaken, the A3. What is going on? It is go time. This is Mortal Mike with yet another and finally another Watcher of Realms video. Y'all, I'm so glad to be back at it. We have been occupied to say the least over the past couple of weeks. I run a videography company. I've mentioned it before in the channel a couple of times. And as a result, I have been back and forth for the past maybe three weeks or so, I'd say since the beginning of February, filming almost nonstop. The only time we've been touching this computer is to upload footage and copy it. That's it. <laughs> I have to give you guys a recap on what I've been doing. Forgive me, I'm a little bit quieter because we're actually at one of the locations that we're filming at. And since we had a good, a little bit of time off this afternoon, I even brought the family in. So they're in the room on the other side of this suite that we're in and they're asleep. So I don't want to wake them all up. I got two kiddos and a missus. I want to wake them up. Let me give you guys a recap of what I have been up to. I, I've been a little busy, but man, I'm going to tell you, it feels weird to be like, hey, you know, welcome back. And then I took a break. And I came back and took a break. But honestly, I've been trying so hard to make content for you guys for the past couple of weeks. So I ended up recording, I think, four videos, maybe five videos um that i just never ended up being able to put out i did a third pull for lust video never ended up getting it out i did a video um for the soak of this boss like a full breakdown for the soak of this boss for mortal codex never ended up editing it in time to put it out because every time i had a moment to sit down it's the prep to go film again i did the one plus one pulls video this is terrible i did the one plus one video i did it in my freaking car hmm. That was the only opening I had was in between shoots. I did it in my freaking car, recorded it on two cell phones. One was recording gameplay and one was recording my face. I finished the video, I pressed in recording and the phone died while I was making the footage that I could use to put the video out. <laughs> so I just got like a 30 something minute video of me talking to um, the camera. So there's no footage of the game, but I ended up pulling three freaking legendaries. I actually pull them up here and don't laugh. I have such a hilariously bad setup right now. I'm using one of the lights in the building, but I double diffused it, which means I put a plastic bag over it. So the lighting looks somewhat decent, but I ended up pulling three champions of good ones now, don't get me wrong. I ended up pulling three Legos. The first one was a so Duke Vierna. And I would say Vierna's getting her getting her claim back. I saw some dope stuff in Gear Ray 4. That's another thing. I will say this. I'm thankful for guys like Fastidious and everybody that's covering it because I had to live vicariously while all this Gear Ray 4 stuff was going on. And I was just missing it. I just I just couldn't even sit down and just tap in and enjoy it and, and play it. So Hey, got to take care of the family first, right? But Vierna was one that I pulled. I also pulled a Duke Razak. I, will rid this I pulled one of him. And then I pulled another Lassier. Lassier's at A3. I was like, okay, you know, got some good pulls. I'm going to put this video out. Never ended up putting it out there because half of it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> I did another pulls video where I ended up pulling um, a Cerberus and I gave a full breakdown like my thoughts on the Boreas cushion because of course it's a big deal and even my lighting's changing right now because I haven't, I haven't used a window here. So it's probably looking janky or crazy right now. Let me do this right here. It's gonna be ghetto, but let's see if it works. I literally, literally just now pulled a paper bag off of the lighting. So now it looks a little bit more harsh. Doesn't look as flattering. <laughs> But we're gonna make it do what it do. Let me mention this. This is something I didn't mention before. Out of three of those videos on three separate occasions, and I'm not sure if I made a video that I put out saying it, on three separate occasions, I got, I'm oh, sorry, I can't, I can't do this light. I gotta hook it up. It's the videographer in me, I'm sorry. This is literally a Walmart bag. It is a Walmart bag because I didn't wanna go and get my light and set it up. Okay, I got my tweaks done. I got my adjustments done. Sorry, y'all, it's a videographer in me. I couldn't let it live. I had to do something about it. I did three videos on three separate, three separate occasions. I announced an awesome announcement that happened. I have access to the freaking test server now. Hacker man, 
He's the most powerful hacker of all time. So now I can go in and see champions early. Now I can go in and see artifacts and content that's coming out early, like Gear Raid 4, for example. I can see what champions are coming to the game earlier. I can test stuff and different content. And I will say there's a little bit of restriction. So my first video that you guys are gonna see, um, I have to actually create the video and then I upload it privately and then Moon Time reviews that content. So anytime you see us make stuff on test server, more than likely, most times it's reviewed because there's certain content we have to make and then there's some content we get the freedom to make, but be careful about what stuff you can put out there. So you're gonna see my opinions on the Boreas cushion. I'll give you a summarized version now and then I'll do a little more of a kit breakdown in the other video. I don't necessarily think that the kit needed to be touched at all, except for maybe the range of the EMP. But here's why I say that. I don't think it needed to be touched at all. And I'm just saying this before I do the next thing I was gonna do in this video, which is actually gonna do a few summons, just a few. You know, it's a two X weekend. Why not, just, just a few. I thought that the solution would be to fix arena. The champion's gonna always be a challenge. I don't think anybody had an issue with him being a PVE monster. I think people had a problem with him being a PVP boss as far as making everything one-sided. My solution, and you let me guys know in the comment what you thought was a good solution for the adjustment because it, it was needed because he really tilted the game to one side. Whenever enemies or minions come onto the arena field, while they have their countdown timer, they have a 50% damage reduction buff or damage resistance buff. So that way they can still take hits, but it's very difficult to kill them at the gate, which is the issue that most people hated about Boreas in Arena. In the AOE um, Arena and also in Anti-Air Arena. That was the biggest issue most people had. It makes it to where other champions you make down the road don't have the same issue. So they all have to do stupidly high amounts of damage to get past this. Um, that being said, it makes the ring a little bit more balanced as well for all the champions coming down the road. Changes a few strategies up too, cool, but it shows that you're protecting the main area people have an issue with than just adjusting the champs. That was my perspective, that was my perspective. So I'm making content on the test server now. I, 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 I have access to, I had to buy an entire other tablet to access it because there's certain devices you can and can't use for it. Um, but I've been enjoying it, it's been fun. I've been having fun making content on that end. Have you noticed nothing's been able to put out yet? <laughs> been freaking working. Let's get into the next part of why we're here because it is Saturday that I'm recording this. I want to see if I can put this video out on Saturday. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. I wanted to do a few summons because it's a 2x weekend, which means twice the chance I can get legendaries. I do want Constance, but I didn't want to wait another day to try to get her. I'm sure I'll end up pulling her in the game. I think she's a good staple champion for content, but I want to do some daggum summons, y'all. So I don't care. I'm going to do, I'm going to do these just to do, I'm going to do the 55. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have everything I need for the Artemis event that's going to be coming soon, which I think is really dope. Shout out to you time travelers that are still getting the information. It's good to have, but let's get into the summons. You guys have waited. You guys are patient. Thank you guys for the subscriber count going up while I've been away. I still, I will say, still give me one more week before I can jump on here and consistently make the content again. But I wanted to put something out there to tell you guys that I'm alive and well and kicking butt. <laughs> I had people in my Discord like, bro, are you alive? I was like, yeah, man, life keeps you busy. But let's get some summons going, shall we? Let's see if we can pull some gold while we're here. Let's see if we can get some glass detected. First one we get is rare attacks. Actually, I'm gonna do the singles um, right after this. We'll do the singles. I'll skip through this here. Yeah, I'll do the singles, then I'll do the rest of ten, rest of ten pulls. But what's crazy is, I'll say this, when you create content, you're always thinking about whether what you're about to do will be content that people enjoy. And so there's times where you take a moment and you chill and you don't play the game until you're ready to make content for people. But I've progressed so freaking much over the past three weeks, just with openings of time, I beat gear rate two and gear rate three level 21. <laughs> so it's picked up, it's been dope. All right, two more. And then we're gonna get into the temples. But I've beaten those, of course, artifact material rate 18, Loyalty taking care of that. Um, the Sokoda's boss, I freaking love Sokoda's boss. And I'm still gonna make that, I'm still gonna put that video out for y'all. Um, I think I may wait until it comes back around 
You guys let me know in the comment section if you just want that video just to have it, just to be able to look at it. Um, but yeah, I dug deep. Like it was, it was actually a pretty extensive video. I gave a lot of feedback, especially with different champions, different strategies, um, just a lot of different things that you can try to get your score up because it's easier to get a high score in that content than a lot of the other ones. I'll be honest, in my perspective, it was one of the easiest ones to get a high score, but you really had to have an understanding of what you were trying to do. All right, 10 pull time. We got four 10 pulls. Let's see what we get. Since I pulled Cerberus, I'm nowhere near pity. I'm literally just pulling because it's a 2X. Let's rock. Oh, we got us some purple. Purple's in the right path. Let's see who we got. I still haven't gotten in the soul day. I have a hearts, but I still want the soul day. <laughs> got Mari. You should have Mari in your account. Trust me, you know she's good. You, you, you know the deal. Let's, why entertain? Oh. Another purple, okay. I would like some yellow, but um, <laughs> we'll rock with the purples for now. There's the harpoon. Harpoon is one of the few champs I would say I probably have no use for in the game because I don't see any area where he's going to be super exclusive unless it's faction related. Um, not a, I won't say he's not a bad champ. He still has use, but so many other champs do what he does well already. So, mm. oh, snappy be down. I just planned on using a few. Look who's coming through. Who, who do we have coming through the portal? The second one. Yes, 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 yes. I got broke here. So this makes my broke here. If I'm not mistaken, the A3. At A3, he gets additional healing wherever he has freeze on him. And he has two instances during his ultimate and during his unyielding, he has instance or has healing on him. So this is great because I can take off the healing artifact that I have on him right now that keeps him in the fight a lot longer. Now he just basically has the artifact imbued in him. So that is, that's freaking awesome. That's awesome. I mean, or I can keep the artifact on, or even the AOE healer can keep him sustained, so that's dope. But let me get these 50 gems too, and then we'll see who else we pull, because, you know, what or not. I may be one of the few people you know that get excited about pulling a defender. I don't care. I really enjoy using this guy. It's a great champ. It's a really good champion. Um, he's probably my favorite defender in the entire game. Who else did we get? <laughs> that was fire. That was dope. But that made me happy. I'm still going to do one more temple because I like to get the gems from the rares too. Last but not least. Oh, get these on the side too. Dope. And pull. Last 10 is going to be my rare attack. Of course, you got to pay it. I'll pay it for you guys. I'll take care. I'll take care of the rare attacks and you guys don't have to. <laughs> so I'm happy. That's dope. How about that for a return video? Just to do a couple of summons in here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Was I going to do those? It's 2x. Hmm. I'm just going to wait. I think it'd be good to um, save my divines. For some reason, it keeps, I keep thinking that that banner is going to beat your divines too, and that's worth me pulling on those. I pull something nice, I throw it in the video. If not, I'll just tell you guys about it later. But I have been freaking appreciative of you guys who have been helping me to make dope content, um, who've been rocking with me while I make this thing happen. I mean, when I say I have been working like crazy, I think yesterday I actually managed to jump on a stream with Fastidious. I just jumped on there and just chatted for a minute, man, caught up on good times. I think you did some Gear Rate 3 content. We had some really good conversation on and off the camera. But it always feels good to come back and make content for you guys. I will tell you guys, I get charged. I get hyped when I know I'm about to make content for you guys. I get freaking charged. I'm looking down at my, um, my lav mic here. I keep a lav mic, um, so I also have a second area of recording. I think one of these days, I should make a video about how I actually make some of this content. Because I get a lot of content creators, amazing people that want to know how I can make this stuff, how I can make it better. I'll be honest, this setup right now is not ideal but making it do what it do because you guys want to see dope stuff and I'm gonna make it happen. Oh, I didn't mention, did I mention this too? Um, I can show it, get a sneak preview into my actual phone, right? And of course this is just starting. So it's gonna be sideways on the screen, which is fine. Get topic inspiration, that's cool. But can you guys see this on the bottom right? The channel is officially, officially monetized. Officially monetized on YouTube. So. I don't even know how to feel about this yet because there's still a lot more to um, to digest. But you guys got us to, well, can you see that there? Uh, yeah. 
close to 1300 subs. While I've been out here kicking butt and editing and making content, I can't thank you guys enough for that. So we're working, we're moving to the next thing. I think eventually, once I get settled in, I'm also gonna pick up chats, not chats, um, live streams. I'm gonna start finally doing them. I get a lot of questions on them. I'm also gonna put together a Discord um, because I can't wait to chat with you guys. Ooh, that brightness is looking crazy right now. Let me change this. This is looking crazy. That's better, that's better. This is why I don't use sunlight. Sunlight changes so much, makes you look crazy. I cannot wait to make more content for you guys. I should have a video coming out soon. Depends on the review space, the review pace for Moon Time when they view it and get the feedback on it. Um, because if it's test server content, it has to be reviewed. But I love being able to do this for you guys. I appreciate you guys for rocking with me, but I literally said, I just said, let me grab a bunch of my equipment and just make something and put it out for you guys. I thank you guys for rocking with me. Let me know in the comment section what you guys have been up to. What do you guys think about Gear Ray 4? Uh, I will say definitely check out Fastidious' content. That's usually my first source of finding out about this stuff because he tests the stuff and goes and plays it. What do you guys think about the Boreas boss that's coming? Because just because they gave him an adjustment, that means you're not about to come in and give an attitude adjustment to all of us. So that's gonna be in, what, 48 hours? Yeah, it's gonna be in two days. So I'm gonna be playing that. I'm still gonna be filming during that time. By the time his boss unlocks, I probably should be able to jump in there and dive a little deeper into it. And I wanna make some content about the champions that I think you should be playing with, the artifacts you guys should be mindful of. Oh my gosh, the new gear that's coming into the game now. You guys saw some dope rolls and stuff like that. It's so much to cover and I'm glad to be back to do it for y'all. But this has been your boy Mortar Mike. It is go time, but now it is time to go. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing weekend. I hope you get a nice pull. I'm so glad to have an extra book here because he's my favorite defender of the game. I'll pull it up. Before I roll, I pull it up. Let's see what that awakening looks like. At awaken three, what does it look like here? When the heroes are free, increases receive healing and shield effects by 20%. Right now, he has on Regal Quest, Regal Quest, which gives receive healing 32% at the whole time. But I really only need it when I call that shield on because I'm trying to get myself back in the game. That's plenty good. That's plenty freaking good. So that, I wonder what his BP jumps up by. 62, 490, let's do an Awaken. Let's put him in fresh. To wield his creation is to emerge victorious. 62, 490, 65, 184, nice, okay. Nice leap, nice leap. Yeah, that's my dude, that's my dude. I'm looking forward to making more content with you guys. I just had to jump in there. I enjoy this freaking game, but I enjoy making this content for you guys. And I love you guys giving the feedback and jumping in there and commenting, leaving subscribe, leaving likes, giving shout outs, because I still jump in streams for people from time to time. I just like to know people are having a good time enjoying this, get their feedback on the game. But I've rambled long enough. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys yet again for your support. Let me know in the comments as well, because I love talking in the comments. I try to get active in there now. What content do you guys want to see from me when I make it back as well? And maybe Future Mike might have to come back. I don't know. I've heard this dude, the entire Iron Mike has been pretty efficient. Um, he might have to make an appearance in the content soon. <laughs> Y'all take care. I'll see you soon.